Okay, we're ready to roll. What's on the chopping block for today, Glenn? Eric, what, I, what I've got here is a representation of <clears throat> how I cut jack sets. When I cut jack rafters, I don't do it one at a time. I cut, I cut a set. Interesting. I try to. I should say this. I try to. And typically, when you have a hip that has jack rafters on, on either side of it, typically what you have is uh, a matching set. Uh, you have a, a, a jack rafter on one side that's matched by a jack rafter on the other side, and usually they oppose each other. They don't have to, but, but a lot of times they do. And they have the opposite cut in terms of the bevel. Now, what you see here is is a sample set on a on a set of horses that I would normally put on a job site. What I would do is put together a set of horses like this. This is just a piece of lumber that has a two by four foot underneath it and a block on either side to block it in place. Okay. To, to stand it up on edge. And then I would wax it up with paraffin on top to make it so that the lumber slides around easy on it. Okay. The paraffin makes it makes it to where I can slide lumber on it without it sticking to the horse. Right. So this is what I refer to as the horse. And it can be any length that you want it to be and what's whatever you've got. Okay, so, but this, 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 batch of lumber here these happen to be two by eights from a six and twelve set of jacks and this shows how i cut jack rafters now i should mention that i've got an inch and a half between each board if i zoom in here you can see that i've left an inch and a half between each one okay so they're pretty close well, together this is only for, well this is for the purpose of illustration Okay. In real life, they would be slid together. When you cut these things, they would be all slid together. But I separated them so you can see the, the, the pieces. Okay, now you'll notice that the longest jack on this side pairs with the shortest jack from the opposite side. But when you push your saw down that cut, it yields both this rafter and this one. Oh, okay. Okay, you see what I mean? Right. The only reason there's a space between them is because I'm trying to illustrate how, you know, how those cuts, you know, the opposite of one is the other one. Okay, now on a jack set, I don't worry about the crown of a rafter. So, you know, like like when we, when we make common rafters, we always crown these. When I cut a commons, I I crown them so that I, I put them on the horses so the crown is down. Okay. And then this seat cut, you see the seat cut that's in these rafters here. This what I'm what I got my cursor. Right. Well, that seat cut is made by a big dado saw. I got a saw with dado blades, and it's a big saw that just takes that out so okay. you don't have to single cut that that seat cut it's a great big saw that has a you know you you, you make this cut and then you snap all these lines across this set i snap lines across this according to the common difference you know my whatever my first jack length is i'll mark that and i snap a line across all these boards and then i'll put the common difference I'll, 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 and then I'll snap this line and I'll snap this line so that this pile of lumber will have lines going across it all the way across. And then I, I, I make a chipper line here and I cut that. You got to realize these, these things, this set is banded together with a steel band. Okay. Okay, imagine these boards slid together and and banded together so that they can't move. Right, there's no wiggle. With a steel band. Yeah, they can't wiggle and they can't move. So 
you take your chipper and you and you chipper this C cut, and then you go to the other side and you flip it over. This is why you wear out apprentices because they have to help you flip these <laughs> piles of wood over. And they only last about two weeks, and then you have to find to get another one. Oh, man. Another apprentice. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking. Some of them last longer than that. My nephew actually worked for me for a couple of years. <laughs> well, he's related. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> but uh, I went through a lot of apprentices. Okay, but you see how you got a seat cut out here on this side? Right. And then you got a seat cut on the bottom side? Well, obviously, you can't run your saw upside down. That cut was made with this entire set flipped completely over. You make this cut, and then you flip it completely over, and then you make this other cut with the dado saw. Uh -huh. And then you flip it up again so that this stack is the other way, vertical. Then you pop the bands, and you start making these cuts. And as you make these cuts, you peel off the long one, and restack it over here, make the next cut, restack it over here, make the next cut, restack it over here, and then when you're all done, you stick them together again and band it back up. And that is a jack set. Okay, that's really efficient. So you're you're killing a lot of birds with one stone. You're, you're uh, able to separate the long end and the short end on the opposing sides of the rafters. Not only that, but... You're getting your longest and shortest out of the same piece of stock. Right. And it makes it easy to keep track of what you're doing. Not only that, but when it's banded back together in a set like this, it's much less likely that these people are going to lose these pieces. Okay. It's going to travel by forklift from your yard that you're cutting at, okay, to the, the house and be stuck up on top there with a, with a great all or some kind of a reach machine, okay? And it's going to be placed on the house in a set. That way, when you make all these sets and you, and you put everything together and bend it together in a set, you know that all those pieces are in there, okay? And you can document that, and, and nobody can give you any excuses as to why they can't find any of this stuff. Same thing is true for ridge to valley fill. I do the same thing for ridge to valley fill. Here's a, here's a, uh, here's another one. Same deal. This is ridge to valley fill. Only instead of having a seat, cut, I've got a chainsaw. I've got a saw with a chainsaw bar that comes off the bottom of it, and I can set it at whatever angle I want. Uh huh. So I simply chainsaw this end chainsaw that end and then it cut it just like it cut a jack set right and now, then go quite on. often when it comes to, okay quite often when it comes to uh, ridge to valley fill on the one side you'll have ridge to valley fill and on the other side maybe you'll have hip to valley fill so so some of these might have to be customized into ridge to valley fill but you still have this cut to work with. You see how this bevel cut is, is the one that's cut that yields its opposite on the other side. Right. The piece that's left over, when you push your saw at a 45 degree angle, you got the table set at 45. When you push the saw, it makes the other one. The opposite cut. Let's zoom in here so I can I could not see how those are. Right. I see it there. If you were to push them together, that would have been one board. That would have been one board. Yep. The only reason I have them separated is so you can see it. If I would have pushed them together before I showed you this, it would just look like there was nothing there. You wouldn't see the cut. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I got space between them. So you see the cut. All righty. So anyway, that's the trick for jack rafters and fill rafter sets.
Okay, thank you very much, Glenn. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them. Uh, our contact information will also be down there for you to uh, send us an email or get in contact with us. Thank you for watching.